Hello, my beloved primary four students, with our third lesson of light and sight concept. Do you remember your concept and investigative phenomena? Yes, it was about the sight in the human and nocturnal animals. The nocturnal animals can the animals that sleep in the night. كان بيبقى عندها مشكلة إن ما فيش لايت يشوفه عشان كده كان ساعات بيبقى عندهم سوبر سنسز وساعات تانية الآي سايت بتاعهم كان بيبقى دقيق جدا. How can the nocturnal animals be very good at knowing their prey's place accurately without much light at night? Yes, we talked about the sight process and how it works and what are the differences between the human and the nocturnal animals in the sight process. We will talk about light, which is the main factor in the sight process. إحنا من مرة اللي فاتت اتفقنا إن ما ينفعش يحصل رؤية من غير ما يكون في ضوء. النهاردة هنكمل كلامنا عن اللسن ده. Do you know that there is a branch of science called light science or optics? Optics, علم, علم, ضوء, ول, نظر. The science studies everything about light and sight. And we focus on that as scientists, of course. Maybe you remember our investigation in the last lesson. Your most important result as scientists was that without light, we cannot see the things. Do you know what is light? This is our lesson today. Get your pen, notebook, and your student book to start lesson three of the light and sight concept. Do you remember how senses at work concept Yes, the senses receive information from the environment and send it to the nervous system to process it and make the body decide and choose what is the best action to do. لو انتوا فاكرين الكونسبت اللي فات senses at work كنا بنقول ان السنس organs دايما بتستقبل معلومات من الانفايرمنت اللي حوالينا وبعدين بتبعتها للنيرفس سيستم عشان يترجمها ويبتدي يقرر هيعمل ايه فيها ايه الاكشن اللي هياخده وطبعا ما ننساش ان البيج بوس بتاع النيرفس سيستم هو البرين. Like what happens in the sight sense. The eye sends information to the nervous system and the nervous system process it. Can we see without light? Of course not. And we are sure because we did our investigation. What is light? We will know that through activity six and Eli like a scientist. In Analyze Like a Scientist, we will use your skills in this activity. Open your book on page 75 and read the first paragraph of the text. Tell the sentence, our eyes, then sends messages to the brain, where the information is processed. ما تنسوش وانتو بتقروا التكست لازم تبقوا مركزين جدا انتو بتدوروا على ايه؟ ايه المعلومات اللي انتو مفروض تلاقوها عشان تقدروا تتعلموا كويس. You should analyze the sentence while reading to get the main ideas in the paragraph. بعد ما قرينا أول paragraph. I want you, my lovely student, to start the analysis of the first paragraph. My lovely student said that we should underline the main ideas that will answer my questions. I asked them at the beginning, like what is light, how light travels, how do humans see? They read the paragraph first and discussed it together. And these are the ideas they had, in which they all agreed on. The light is a form of energy. الضوء عبارة عن نوع من أنواع الطاقة. Light travels in the form of wave. بيبقى في موجات هي اللي بتنقل لي الضوء. Light travels in straight line. الضوء بيمشي في خطوط مستقيمة. Light reflects in the eye and the eye sends a message to the nervous system so we can see. Excellent analysis. Let's go back to our student book page 76 and read the second paragraph you should analyze each sentence you read to get the information in the first part
In the second paragraph, all of my students think and agree at the end on this main idea. I'm sure that you also have it. It says that sight and vision cannot happen without light. الرؤية مستحيل تحصل بدون ضوء. And this is the main idea that my students agreed upon. I also analyzed the text and I knew that even if all the things are there like the eyes, nervous system and the things around you but there is not light, we wouldn't be able to see. يعني لو العين موجودة والجهاز العصبي كمان موجود والأوبجكتس اللي حواليا كلها موجودة بس ما فيش ضوء مش هقدر أشوف حاجة خالص. When the scientists analyze a written text or a, new, a natural phenomena, they always express the results of the analysis, whether with data written or sketches. Let's do that now. It's time to get creative and make some drawing art. Go back to your student book, page 76, and express by sketching the main idea you understood by your analysis of the first and second paragraph of the text that you read and analyzed. مفروض انك ترجع للبيج بتاعتك في البوك وتبتدي ترسم انت فهمت ايه من اول paragraph وفهمت ايه من تاني paragraph. Your sketch should be simple to show all the ideas you want to say. Let me draw a sketch for you. At the beginning I will draw an object Whatever the object is, I a rasamt ball, and I will draw an eye. Your sketches must be different, but if we will express the same idea, which is the light, must fall on the object and be reflected to our eyes, so we can see. I draw the object, we will see, which is the ball, and here, I draw the eye that will see. Would the eye would be able to see? Of course not. There is no source of light. There must be a source of light that come out in a straight line so we can see the object. Let me draw the source of light. Here I have the source of light. And when the light falls on the object, it's going to be reflected to our eyes. And this is how we see the objects around us. يا ترى لو النور وصل للأوبجكت والأوبجكت عمل له ريفلكشن ورجع للعين والنور وقف عند العين كده أنا هبقى شفت حاجة؟ لا. The eyes must send a message to the brain and it process and explain this message. So the eyes will be able to see. يبقى تاني. A light must fall on the object the object reflected to the eye and I send the message to the brain and the brain starts interpreting or understanding this information. In the second part of the text, which is the main idea, the main idea is that it won't be able to see without light. I do that by the eyes and the ball only. The eyes won't be able to see because there isn't light. So I didn't draw the lines that show the light. So there isn't sight. تاني في السكند تكست مفروض ان انا ما كانش عندي رؤية ومعنى ان ما يبقاش عندي رؤية ان انا ما يبقاش عندي الاروز اللي هي a light source falling on the object and reflected to the eye. What is the main purpose or goal of this model? Did you notice or observe that the model show us how the sight process works from light to the object to the eye then to the brain that process the information? Did you notice how I showed by the drawing the traveling of energy and this energy is? Yes, it's light. We agreed that light is an energy. I drew light with straight lines. Can we observe in our sketch a cause and effect relation? I mean that something must be present, the cause, and other thing must be the effect, cause and effect. لازم يبقى عندي سبب وتأثير. Of course, there must be light for sight, cause and effect, light for sight. Let's go back to our question in lesson one. قبل ما نكمل كلامنا لازم نفتكر كويس المعلومات اللي تعلمناها لحد دلوقتي. We said that light is a form of energy. هي نوع من أنواع الطاقة. والenergy دي 
اتس فيزيبل يعني وي كان سي احنا كلنا نقدر نشوف الضوء كمان ات ترافل از ويفز بتقدر انها تتنقل كشكل موجات واخر حاجه اتعلمناها ان ات موفز ان ستريت لاينز بتمشي في خطوط مستقيمه Let's go back to our question in lesson one. How can the animals hunt their prey at night in dim light? زي الحيوانات بتقدر تصطاد بالليل والضوء بيبقى ضعيف جدا. I have an example of an animal we all know. Do you know this animal? Yes, it's the cat. Have you ever look, looked very closely at the cat eyes? Did you observe anything especially if the light of the cars were directly in front of it? حد فيكم لاحظ شكل عين القطه لما نور العربيات بيخبط فيها؟ I think most of us remember how the cat eyes look like at night, which glows in the dark like this photo. Why do you think this happened? That's right. Of course, there are a certain adaptation in its eye that help it to see very well in the dim light why does it need that adaptation excellent because it's active at night ومعنى active at night يعني nocturnal so it will need to adapt to the dim light around it to learn about the adaptation of the cat that help it to see at night accurately we will go to activity number seven analyze like a scientist let's read a text from the student book page 77 and use the analysis skill Did you notice that when we focused on the skill of analysis, the last text, we identified the main idea and expressed it easily by sketches we did. Let's complete the analysis in the same way we learned, to collect evidence. المرة اللي فاتت لما ابتدينا نستكشف رسمنا سكتشز وكانت طريقة سهلة جدا عشان نفهم المعلومات. يلا بينا نكمل بنفس الطريقة. Are there any evidences? Yes, we will collect evidences. We will collect evidences about what? About the cat as an example for the animal which is active at night. Let's collect evidences from the text after analyzing it about the structure in the cat eyes. عايزاكم تركزوا جدا في الستركتشر بتاع الكات ايز يعني شكل الكات ايز. This structure makes it see accurately at night in the dim light. Bring a pen to circle all the words or in the information which aren't clear to you and you have questions about. محتاجة منك إنك تعمل سيركل على أي معلومة أنت مش فاهمها أو مش حاسس إنها واضحة قوي بالنسبة لك. We learned from the text very important things about the structure of the eyes of the nocturnal animals. And there were new words like retina. ريتنا هي شبكية العين وشبكية العين ده جزء من أجزاء العين العين بتاعنا عبارة عن طبقات كتيرة منها الريتنا and there is another part that's called tapetum lucidum tapetum lucidum البساط الشفاف when analyzing the text I knew that the retina is responsible for receiving the light and send it to the brain to interpret or process the information أنهي جزء في العين بالظبط بيستقبل الضوء؟ It is the retina which is شبكية العين هي دي الجزء اللي هياخد الضوء ويبتدي يبعت مسج للبرين دايركلي The nocturnal animals have a structure called tapetum lucidum Tapetum lucidum is found behind the retina and it's like a mirror as it reflects as much of light rays on the retina الحيوانات اللي بتعيش بالليل وبتبقى أكتف جدا at night اللي هي nocturnal animals عندها تابتم لوسيدم وده جزء بيبقى ورا الشبكية عشان يقدر يعكس كمية كبيرة جدا من الضوء على شبكية العين فبالتالي تقدر تشوف بوضوح at night So it make it collect more and more light in the dim light Can you imagine if the tabitum lucidum which is found behind the retina in most of the nocturnal animal is found in the human? Would it be harmful or beneficial? 
يا ترى لو التابتة ملوسيديوم دي عندنا احنا كمان هتبقى مفيدة ولا مضرة؟ Think about it for a minute. Don't forget you should discuss this question with one of your colleagues or family. Some of you may think that tabitum lucidum would be useful if the human have it because it would make the human see in the dim light. But I think our eyes will look scary if they reflect the light and appeared glowing in the dark like the cats. Into kamekan ra'yuku e. Finally, we should record and write all the questions we have and the questions that we still want to learn more about from the paragraph we analyzed in our student book, page 78. Like wondering about the other structures in the eye or what may help the human to see better in the dim light. When we asked you about the tabitum lucidum, we said that it can't be useful for the human. Well, we can also see how it can be seen in the dim light. I have many questions. The most important one is, what are the other eye structures that help nocturnal animals see in the dark? How can a person see using night glasses? Is there a difference between sunlight and lamplight? I'm sure that you have many questions. I want you to search for answers to these questions on the Egyptian Knowledge Bank. You will find many resources that will help you learn more about light and the structure of the eye. This is the end of our lesson. Today we learned about how humans see and the structures in the eye of the animals that help them to see in the dark. The structure we talked about today was the retina and the tabitum lucidum. And we learned about one of important terms which is tabitum lucidum, albusat shafaf. Your skill to analyze the lesson today was excellent and you got all the main ideas from the texts we read. And now it's time for our question of the next lesson. I wonder what happens when the light falls on the different objects. Illa hihsal law du nizil ala hagat kitira muhtalifa hawalina. Do all the objects reflect the light with the same strength and way? Think about this question and prepare your tools. Be ready because we will investigate the answer of the question in a practical way. I mean that we will have hands-on investigation to get a result and answer our question. Thank you and see you next time.